My name is Katherine Ahern and I'm applying to the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. I want to be a physical therapist because I feel it provides unique opportunities that most other health professions do not. I was first exposed to physical therapy when I was 16 years old and injured myself playing volleyball. What I liked most about the process was that both the doctor and patient are working toward a common goal. Having been an athlete all of my life, I'm extremely goal-oriented, so the idea that someone would rely on me to push them to their full potential is something I find extremely motivating. I also like the idea that both the doctor and patient can only get out what the other one puts in. In most health professions, the doctor puts in all of the work and the patient is merely there to see the results. In physical therapy, the patient has to put in a type of responsibility and put in their efforts in order to maximize the efforts of the doctor. I find that this struggle towards a common goal is something that bonds the doctor and patient together and is truly unique to physical therapy. I'm still persevering through a difficult time in my life. After graduating from my undergraduate university, I was not immediately accepted into a doctor of physical therapy program. This was extremely difficult for me, but did not slow down my efforts to be accepted. I decided I needed to increase my GPA, as well as increase my time spent in a physical therapy setting. The week immediately following graduation, I registered for a medical terminology class and got a job for the summer as a physical therapy aide. Once this class was over, I registered for a Chemistry 2 class as well as its lab. Once the summer had ended, I got a job as a physical therapy aide that could last through the year and also registered for Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2 as well as both lab sections. I will continue persevering through this difficult time and do whatever it takes in order to be accepted into a physical therapy program. I find that I have an effective way of determining how my body language as well as my communication skills are perceived by other people. Usually I determine this based on their body language and how they communicate back to me after initially meeting them. I've developed these skills through the years of being a captain of my collegiate volleyball team in college. This team was full of girls with very different personalities, each motivated by different types of communication. After getting to know these girls, I took it upon myself as the leader to motivate them with whatever works for them. In physical therapy, it's very similar because the end game is just to keep the person comfortable and confident in you that you can achieve their goals. The only difference being that I do not know the patients for years like I knew my teammates. Having worked in a physical therapy office for several months, I found that I'm able to adapt my skills having learned them in college to settings that require me to meet someone and interact with them more quickly without that background. Once the person is comfortable, it's easier to determine whether or not I'm being effective in communicating. There are also certain levels of anxiety in a physical therapy setting based upon the person's condition or injury. Keeping them comfortable in this setting is something that you can do with language and communication skills. Once they're comfortable, it is easier for them to open up, be more honest, and confident in your ability as a physical therapist. Thank you very much for your time.